مرحبا اهلا وسهلا we are still on page 20 let's look at some uh, new vocabulary new vocabulary we have today is the family family in arabic is called al usra al usra the family al usra to let's write it down the family so al us al usra to the family al usra to so let's put sukun on the alarm of the al usra to the family a name in arabic is ismun let's write ismun uh, maybe is ismun ismun a name a husband zawjun let's write it here zaw zawjun a husband next a wife zawjatun zaw jatun zawjatun a wife a father abun abun a father abun can call it walidun as well was abun a mother ummun 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 walida ummun a son ibnun 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 and then a daughter ibnatun ib na tun ibnatun daughter can call it bintu as well but ibnatun a brother akhun akhun a sister ukhtun ukh ukhtun a sister ukhtun a male friend sadiqun a male friend sadiqun 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 a female friend sadiqatun 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 now we're going to be working with this vocabulary shortly so al usratu a family ismun a name zawjun a husband zawjatun a wife abun a father ummun a mother ibnun a son ibnatun a daughter akhun a brother ukhtun uh, a sister sadiqun a male friend sadiqatun a female friend now let's discuss exercise 15 which is on page 20 using this vocabulary let's have a look so exercise 15 number 1 this is my husband we know husband is zawjun a husband to say my husband remember you would put e ending zaw g so you change the own into e and then you extend it with the yeah zaw g so this is my husband had a zaw g number two this is my wife you say heavy he this is zaw jatun becomes zaw jati heavy he Zawjati. Number three. This is my father. Father is Abun. Becomes E ending. Hada Abi. Hada Abi. Hada Abi. Number four. This is my mother. Mother is Ummun. Becomes E ending. Hadihi Ummi. Hadihi Ummi. Number five. 
this is my son. Ibnun, that's a son, become Ibni. Hada Ibni. If you want to say this is my daughter, Ibnatun becomes Ibnati. Hadihi Ibnati. That is number six. This is my daughter, Hadihi Hadi Ibnati. Because this uh, Alif and this Alif, they are weak Alif, you suppress them when you have anything before them. You say Ha Vabni and Hadi Ibnati. Hadi Ibnati. Number seven, this is my brother. My brother becomes Ahi. Hadha Ahi. Hadha Ahi. This is my brother. Number eight, this is my sister. Uchtun becomes Uchti. Hadi Uchti. Number nine, this is my friend, male friend. You say it's from Sodiqun. Sodiqi, have a Sodiqi. If it's a female friend, become Sodiqati, have he Sodiqati, have he. And this is my family. Usratun is a family, a family. Usratun becomes Usrati, have he Usrati. Now, before we conclude our lesson uh, of page. 20. I thought it would be useful to uh, give you an extension and that extension will be dealing with the two particular words here. One is a father, Abun, and the other one is a brother, Ahun. What's so special about them? Let's have a look. Now, as you know, if you want to uh, uh, attribute a noun to yourself as a speaker, you say E ending. Abun, Abi, Akhun, Akhi, a book, Kitabun, my book, Kitabi, and uh, my house, Beiti, and so on. That is fine. But when you want to attribute a noun to say yours, to uh, yours, male singular, and yours, May, uh, may a female singular and his and hers these particular two uh, uh, um, nouns they are carrying a secret letter third letter which will suddenly burst into scene when we add ka or ki or who or ha let's have a look uh, example of what I said is this for if I say kitabun uh, we've done that before let me just reinforce it so you are this is Kitabun, a book. So it becomes kita, kita, bu, and then ka. Kita, bu, ka, or kita, bu, ki, uh, bu, ki. If I'm speaking to a uh, single female, kita, bu, ki. And I will say kita, bu, hu, if I say his book. Kita, bu, um, hu. So it's very important that you can see clearly when we are comparing and contrasting, um, becomes clearer. Kita, bu, and then I'm saying kita, bu, ha. That's it. Every noun, you can do that, applies that to any noun, and that will be fine. Except these two. Now, when you are dealing with uka, uh, uki and uka, to put ka here and key here. Third letter will come out. For instance, if I want to say your father, uh, I will say a uh, bu. So far, so good. Then a secret letter will come out, and this is u and, and then you start adding this. So ka or key ending. If you are speaking to a female, so you say Abuka, your father. Abuki, your father. Speaking to a male. If you want to say his father, same thing, you say Abu, then the wow, and then who, 
Abuhu, his father, and her father is a Abu Abu and then ha Abu ha that's your ba so okay that's what I mean by special situation regarding these two nouns so abuka abuki abuhu and abuha the same thing applies here so you say ahuka that's wow come comes out be a who a who and then we are putting the wow and ka ending or key ending if you are speaking to a female and here a who a who who a who who his brother a who ha her brother here we are so remember these up and it's only these two for now there are three but not as useful as these abon and ahun abon ahun you say abi that's universal ahi that's fine no secret letters there but once you want to say yours you say abu when you actually say it you will see that extension in what you are saying abu and that's an extension abuka abuki abuhu abuha ahuka ahuki ahuhu and ahuha that is extension for you and you start listed here uh, you say your father abuka your father speaks to a female abuki his father Abuhu, her father Abuha, your brother Ahuka, your brother speaking to a female Ahuki, his brother Ahuhu, and her brother Ahuha.